Happy New Year, boys and girls! Woo! <laughs> yes, I know it's 10 days after the New Year, but I haven't seen so many of you in such a long time that I wanted to wish you a Happy New Year. And my hope is that in 2021, is that we will be able to see a lot more of each other. Woohoo! <laughs> well, this year we started off on Sundays with the story of Abraham in Genesis 12. And you know what? Abraham was a great dude. He trusted in God. He was a man of great faith. I mean, God promised him a land, a huge family, all of these amazing blessings. And he trusted God. At age 75, he got all his family, all his stuff, and he moved just like that. In our Bible passage today, we see Abraham, or Abram as he was known then, in two different places, act in two very different ways. Sadly, we see him act in fear or out of fear. And then next we see him act out of faith and trust God. Well, in our story, we see Abraham in Egypt. He had to move to Egypt because there wasn't a lot of food where he was at. And all of a sudden, he finds himself in a situation where he thinks he's afraid that the Egyptians are gonna kill him. He's afraid he's gonna die. So out of fear, he tells his wife, Sarai, Sarai, you're so beautiful. And she was in her 70s, beautiful 70 year old. She says, you're so beautiful that if they see you, they might not kill me if they think I'm your brother rather than your husband. So he tells Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, that Sarai is his sister. Not a good thing to do. He does a bad thing because he acts out of fear. Well, Pharaoh sees Sarai and she's so beautiful, she takes him into the palace to be his wife. And God doesn't like that. God sends a disease to Pharaoh and the palace and finally finds out that Abram was lying and he sends Abram away and he says, why didn't you tell me? Why did you cause these things to happen? Why didn't you tell me that she was your, your wife, not your sister? See, Abraham acted out of fear. He did not trust God and he lied. Next, we see Abraham in Bethel with his nephew Lot and they have a lot of wealth, a lot of flocks of sheep and cattle. And the problem is, is that there wasn't enough space for all the sheep and all the cattle. So the people looking after the sheep and cattle started to argue. And Abraham thought, we need to separate. And this time he acted out of faith. He said to Lot, you choose wherever you want to go and I'll have whatever's left. And Lot looked at the east and thought, that it was a great land and chose the East. Abraham trusted God to look after him and all of the things that God had given him. And he stayed in the West. And God again repeated the amazing promises he had made that he would have as many descendants, as, as big as family as the dust on the earth. Now, what can we learn from Abraham? Well, we learn that actually in our walk with God, in our journey with Jesus, we will have times where we face fear and doubt. But we also learn that we need to remember that we have a God who is a promise keeping God and we see all his promises come true in Jesus. And actually that we can trust God in the times of fear, in the times of doubt, in the good times and in the bad times because we have a God who is a promise keeping God and will look after us. I don't know what 2020 has in store. I hope it'll be some good things, but we know that in all things, God can deal with our fear and with our doubt. And he asks us to trust in him, to have faith in him. I'm hoping you have a great new year, boys and girls. Lots of love.